Hello gamers! Before we start with the actual settings, we have to make sure to set up a few things more or less required for this optimization guide. First thing to address will be enabling rebar feature, because it seems Manor Lords is the next title benefiting from this technology. For my PC setup it's almost 6% of free performance. To turn it on, you have to download small software called NVIDIA Profile Inspector, link in the description. You also have to make sure you have NVIDIA newest game ready drivers, cause otherwise you're not gonna have Manor Lord Profile. Now in the top left corner type Manor, pick Manor Lords, and find the Rebar feature option. Enable it. Click apply and you are done. Next thing that we have to do is enabling DLDSR. It's a NVIDIA technology allowing you to play on higher resolution than native resolution of your display, with very good AI down something which resize frames on your monitor. If you don't know yet how to enable DLDSR, you can find the instructions on how to do it in my short collective guide. Link in the description. The last thing we are going to need is installing DLSS tweaks. To have control over DLSS presets and if you want to have pretty much the best possible anti-aliasing available, which you can achieve by forcing DLLA, download DLSS tweaks, link again in the description. In the main Manor Lord folder, go to the binaries, Win64, and unpack everything here. Remember to turn on file Enable NVIDIA Zig Override to force driver to use our DLSS settings. Manor Lords is a rare case of a game which is not reacting for standard NVGX file. You need to rename it to DXGI. It's very important step. Now open DLSS Twix config tool and change false to true for the false DLLA option if you want to use DLLA. Save the changes and done. Since now this feature will be turned on regardless of the DLSS quality you pick, just make sure that DLSS is enabled in Manor Lords options. In DLSS tweaks you can additionally control DLSS presets, and I'm actually recommending using a newest preset E right away. Now when we are ready we can go find me through the in-game settings. Display mode depends on your choice, but please remember one thing. If you use any of two available DLDSR multipliers and you want to use borderless mode, make sure you have the same target resolution on the desktop. We generally recommend to just use full screen mode to avoid any problems. The performance stays the same. For resolution, we personally use 1.78 DLDSR multiplier on a 1080p monitor, which results in 1440p. But if you have more powerful GPU, go on and pick even higher resolution because we're gonna squeeze in a moment a lot of performance with minimal quality cost. For anti-aliasing, we generally recommend to play with upscalers. As in Manor Lords, their implementation and look is very good, especially DLSS and XS. You can also decide to use DLAA, which provides pretty much the best possible visuals, and you already know how to force it with DLSS tweaks. Now we pick quality mode and dynamic DLSS off. Recommendation for VSync is on, but if you have low refresh rate display and you are sensitive for input lag, you can try enabling fast VSync in previously already used NVIDIA Profile Inspector. To enable it, open it again and find Manor Lord's profile. Find vertical sync option and set it for fast sync. It renders frames with maximum potential of your GPU but shows you only synchronized frames lowering your input lag. Max frame rate we set on unlimited because PC master race. Sharpening is a viable option only for people playing on native resolution. If you decide to use it with DLSS or even DLAA, it does interfere with the AI algorithm causing shimmering on edges of the objects in motion. In our guide we recommend turning it off to avoid bad interactions with DLSS and DLAA. Shader quality seems to be partially broken, because high is having better performance than medium. Low looks awful and somehow also affects the ground texture's quality.
our recommendation is high because of good visuals and whopping 22% better performance than Ultra. Shadow quality is a tough choice. Ultra shares similar flaws to high with the draw distance. And on top of that, it's insane 30% more performance heavy. Considering that high and medium looks and performs very similar, our pick is high. Fast processing quality in Manor Lords applies only to accuracy of ambient occlusion. Our recommendation is medium, because it really does a good job in creating a depth filling the edges of models. And ironically, medium in our opinion looks even better than ultra and high, because it applies in more scenarios where ultra and high do not, and all that with 8% better performance. For example, look at this card and water reservoir. Bounced light approximation is not functioning in the current version of the game. There is no difference in performance and visuals while turning it on. Keep it on off or ultra. We recommend keeping the clouds on. It's a game which is very immersive and has a wide spectrum of weather effects. Losing only 4% of performance is simply worth keeping it. For terrain resolution, we recommend Ultra, because even while playing 1440p with upscaling, we never exceeded 8GB of VRAM. Manor Lords is generally gentle to VRAM capacity. For view distance, considering its cost on the background of other settings and our goal to generally avoid distracting popping of objects while in motion, Ultra makes the most sense. Our next recommendation is Grass Density on Ultra, with only small tags of 6% to performance over high. It is stacking up for visual quality as the flora in this game is very important for immersion. As for grass render distance, Ultra and High are the best options with very small differences between each other. Medium and low do not reward us with enough performance to justify the visual sacrifices. Foliage quality applies mainly to trees and bushes and its level of details at the distance. We generally try hard in this guide to avoid making any compromises on settings which are responsible for draw distance for certain type of models, because while playing one moves the camera very often around the map and popping of trees is very distracting and simply ugly. In our opinion high is the sweet spot, with a decent popping reduction and still solid 7% better performance than Ultra. Manor Lord is immersive and beautiful game, very advanced technologically and quite polished despite still being an early access. We wish you to enjoy it and have fun. If our guide was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing us. You can find on our channel optimization guides for various DLSS games, upscaling comparisons and more. So, see, see you, you soon! soon.